Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. This is a mini lecture on liver dysfunction in domestic animals. When the liver gives up, when the animal, when the dog is like 14 or the cat's like 18, horses like 33 or 34, pretty much the ball game's over. The liver goes through a degeneration where the body basically replaces tissue with cirrhotic tissue. We have cirrhosis of the liver, an old age liver, the liver gives up. At a certain point, the liver has an incredible amount of reserve capacity, but at a certain point all that reserve capacity is used up and then the animal goes into quote unquote liver failure, which means bilirubin elevates, etc, etc, and the animal goes downhill. The animal's usually been losing weight and dropping protein in the urine essentially, in the stool essentially for, for years, essentially now they're all kind of scrawny and they're, they go into liver or kidney failure, which is the last part of their lives. Now what we found when we use the somatovisceral therapy in animals with acute liver dysfunction, in other words acute liver disease, it's usually because of lack of blood supply to the liver or and so what we do then is we go through and adjust the animal in classic fashion and then do the somatovisceral therapy that we discuss in module 4 and also module 3 of the uh, VOM technology which you can look for and look through in the vomtech.com website. I encourage you to go to the site and we'll show you how we go about using the basic adjusting technology essentially and why it works. But when we apply the somatovisceral therapy to liver dysfunction, essentially acute liver dysfunction, we should be able to rehabilitate the blood supply back to the liver. The liver should clear itself out. Animals that are secondarily infected with a hepatitis infection of the liver can be treated with antibiotic therapy but also is treated with this approach to allow them to actually throw off all the infection and to heal themselves. The nature of the VOM and laser technologies are designed to actually rehabilitate the animal's ability to fix its own cell. There's other techniques that we will use too when we use the uh, uh, frequency specific laser therapy to do that. The frequency for the liver is 53 cycles per second and what we can do is we can laser the liver and increase the amount of, of liver function by basically using that basic frequency. There's about 80 different frequencies for liver tissue but the basic one, the one involving the outside of the hepatocyte is 53 cycles cycles per second. So we stimulate the liver function through that. Also we can stimulate functions through increased blood supply such as 100 arteriole, 300 for, uh, for scapillary, and 4 for venous. And we can use those four approaches or four frequencies as a means to optimize liver function. Usually what happens is the liver enzymes are elevated on blood tests and they will in fact go down within the next two to three weeks. Very commonly we will wait for three weeks before we reevaluate liver enzymes. Just as long as the animal is not getting more jaundice and going further and further downhill, we're probably solving the problem. We have a tendency to treat all of our liver cases with the frequency specific laser therapy and somatovisceral therapy, which is what we will use with this instrument. We delineate those methodologies on the vomtech.com website, and I encourage you to go to that site and give you more information on how it is that we take care of chronic and acute liver failure, liver dysfunction, and hepatitis. Thank you, and have a great day.